Welcome back everyone. You may be in a weird situation where for some reason your apps on your phone, you just can't seem to find them. Apps like settings or camera or FaceTime, iMessage, the list goes on and on. Some of these stock apps can actually now be hidden within iOS 14. Now, if you just bought a phone, you got a phone, you may be freaking out, but a great way to check to make sure your phone isn't like a cloned iPhone or something like that is to swipe down on the spotlight search and you just want to start typing in something like FaceTime, for example. And as long as you're able to see those apps, then you're probably good. You probably don't have a clone. That's like a 0.01% chance of that happening. But that means that you still have that app on your device. But if you scroll through all your pages and you're not able to find them, basically, in order for you to actually open them up, what someone might have done is actually added the app to the app library and deleted it from the home screen. So what this basically means is they'll basically go and hold on an app like this. They'll go ahead and click edit home screen or remove app. We can go and click remove app and you can go ahead and either delete the app, which I wouldn't recommend deleting FaceTime or adding to the app library, move to app library. So in this case, I have basically removed the iFaceTime app from being on the main screen. Now, if you swipe all the way to the side, this is a new iOS 14 feature. And what this is basically is just showing all your apps in a first of all app view like this, but also in a list view like this. So if you swipe down, you can actually search for FaceTime or you can just scroll down until you get into F, which is right here. And you can basically see that FaceTime is right there. So what you can do is go ahead and drag the app just like this and bring it back to your home screen. And it's really that easy. Now, in this case, I'll go ahead and bring this all the way back to the front, just like this. I'll just bring it right here and you can just plop it down and just use it however you want to. And you can do this, you know, rinse and repeat for every single app. Now, let's say FaceTime was completely deleted from the phone. Well, what you can do here is you can go into your app store, which you can just search for app store there. You want to go make your way to the search bar, which is right here. And you just want to search for FaceTime. And once you search for FaceTime or iMessage or any other app that usually comes with your iPhone that you're looking for, you'll basically be able to find it right here. So what you can do is go and click on it and you'll see that FaceTime is right there. And if I had it deleted, you can go ahead and install it, which is really cool. So for an app like this, it's pretty basic, but people can also do this with the settings app now. So they can go and click here, click remove app, and they can remove it from the home screen, which is very funny. So if I were to do that, basically it would go ahead and delete the app from here and put it right here. So I don't know if people would want to do that or not, but it's the same process. You can see the settings app right here, or you can scroll down, go down to S, which is right here or somewhere like that, and find settings and pretty much move on from there. So that's exactly how to basically find and get back your apps that may have been deleted or may have been removed from the home screen. They're not necessarily deleted, and if they are, you can always re-download them from the App Store. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.